Hello, in this short video I would like to show you how to install Quantum GIS on a fresh build of Ubuntu in this version, Precise Pangolin. And um, yeah, for the installation you will need some packages you have to add to your system and you have to enhance your sources.list file. So um, see all the commands in the description below. We will first start with the installation of the GRASS package. That means you will type in their terminal or you will open up the terminal and type sudo apt minus get install grass which is a special library for spatial analysis you will add all the packages to your or all the software to your system this is the first um, thing you need to do this takes now some seconds i hope i'm faster than 800 kbit per second and after that we will end or we will add um, list or a catalog to our software provider list um, which is the source of uh, qgis.org so these are here the lines for that this one now takes some time and yeah quantum gis is the version 2.0 um, also called dufour which was released in you know late september 2013 so just a few weeks ago um, during the Foskis uh, conference at um, or in Nottingham, and yeah, we're really nearly finished with the installation of Grass, and um, we will enhance this sources.list file that is called using the uh, the built-in editor. So come on. It's a little bit lame due to the fact that I'm using here a virtual machine. So sudo um, gedit etc. slash apt slash sources dot list. And there we are. You have to open that as uh, sudo because it, this is a protected file for the system. Okay, and in the end line, please just paste, uh, copy paste the lines so save it close it and we can close gedit as well and the next lines here is the addition of some keys to your system so you will be able to get the current or the real software okay this as well this states okay and we are off to go and we will now edit the ubuntu gis unstable package provider which has some additional packages available for your uh, software like post gis and all this spatial stuff so and now we are ready for hitting the last line the installation of qgis python qgis which is the enhancement to use python libraries and python um, yeah syntax and the grass plugin for Quantum GIS. So sudo apt get install QGIS Python QGIS QGIS plugin grass. Just hit enter and it has no. Oh, we need to update, of course. So um, sudo apt minus get update, which just says, okay, please fetch all the information from the package providers you have in your sources.list file. You can see it there. And in the last line, there's QGIS uh, slash precise. Precise because we are using precise Pangolin, the long-term support uh, file. And there we go. So sudo apt get install. Yeah, we would like to install it. And yeah, we are interested in this untrusted packages. Well, not authenticated packages. And um, now it's installing all the way down. And well, there are some updates available here so i have a look in there so just some linux header files and so on we can skip this at the moment yeah now we have to wait some more seconds it's not too late to take a coffee so just be prepared it's a process of about one minute i think it depends on your internet connection and also on yours on your uh, pc that works behind that so, yeah, the four is a major step in the uh, in, or in the development of Quantum GIS because uh, yeah, 
it has a better map composer it has better analysis um, processes available so the sextant toolbox which was which was um, a plugin in the last version is now embedded to the system itself and um, yeah it's just a full packaged GIS system at the moment and probably one of the best you can get as open source software compared to ArcGIS and yeah we are nearly finished I think oops sorry yeah you can see it, it takes some time probably skip in front of it because there's a last step we might need to do due to the fact that if you are installing quantum gis it could be possible that you will fail to open quantum gis you will get some strange uh, comments about the um, missing possibility to uh, unpack some packages or unzip some packages that means that you have to make yourself or the user of ubuntu so yourself uh, the owner of the uh, the owner of the of the file itself so um we need to do that maybe in the end but we will see there's also an article about the installation of quantum gis on ubuntu you can check it on www.digital-geography.com and we will have also some yeah tutorials available there where you can see what you can do with quantum gis and um yeah so you see it's unpacking now the packages and we will probably be near the end in a few seconds yeah processing triggers for manual db that's fine nearly finished so it's now setting up okay not important that's not that good but we will see later on okay we are finished now just hit the dash home and type quantum gis there's quantum gis desktop you can see it here the new uh, splash screen which is very really nice written and this is it quantum gis 2.0.1 dufour so the official release not unstable the real and the only gis you will probably need Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.